So once we've gone past that initial dialog box of Premiere, now we get into creating a new project. And in this video, we're going to go ahead and look at how to um, create custom workspaces. We're going to first look at the initial workspaces that come with Premiere. And um, we'll look at some of the features and things like that. And then we'll actually create a custom workspace, learn how to move things around, and then uh, and finish with a, a screenshot of a custom workspace. So with that, let's go ahead and jump into Premiere and take a look at the workspaces and the user interface. So here we are in Premiere, and um, if yours looks a little bit different than mine, just go up to the top here. These are different layouts or, or workspaces that we're looking at today. So you might it might open up to learning. It might open up to assembly. Mine defaults to assembly or the last one that I'm in. Um, <clears throat> assembly is basically when you're setting up your project for the first time. Um, Editing, of course, is when you're making edits, like rough cuts and edits to your project. Color is when you're manipulating the color, like um, you're color grading or color correcting your footage. Effects, of course, when you're adding different effects, different uh, essential graphics maybe, and different types of effects that you might apply to your project as you're going along. Audio, of course, is audio mixing. Graphics is your, it focuses more on your essential graphics and um, different presets that you have there. And then libraries brings up your Creative Cloud libraries. Now, all of this stuff is accessible no matter what, what uh, workspace you're in, but uh, they're just set up in different layouts to make them really easily accessible. So as you work from left to right, you can easily jump from, okay, I'm working on my assembly. I've got everything loaded in my project. Okay, now I'm gonna go to edit. Now I'm done editing. I'm gonna go into color, add my color grading, and get everything done there. And now, okay, now I'm gonna add, I don't need to do any effects, so I'm just gonna jump to audio, clean up my audio, and I'm ready to go, okay? That's kind of what's going on with these different user uh, workspaces, okay? The user interface, which is the whole thing here, your whole, your whole program is made up of a bunch of panels, okay? And that's your user interface. Now, you can <clears throat> create new workspaces, which is what we're about to do. We're going to create a custom workspace. So for instance, for me, now there's no right or wrong way to set this up. It's all about what works for you. Okay. So with that, I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to look at the assembly um, layout. This is what, what the default is for the assembly. Program, source. I don't really need this stuff for my assembly. I'm, when I'm in the assembly mode, I'm more about pulling in footage from my hard drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go up here to program and say close panel. I can click on this one and say close panel. So now those are all together gone. And I'm just going to drag this over. Now you see there's a little border between each one of these. If I click on like the tools panel or the timeline, you can see there's a blue box around that. Now there's a little black border there or dark gray that I can actually move those around. To be honest, I don't even need my timeline. I'm not worried about that right now. Uh, we'll leave the tools there, that's fine, but I'm just gonna drag these out to the right like this. So it's, I've got this one big panel. Now here's where we get to customize this. If I select Media Browser, and the Media Browser is essentially a look at your networked drives and your local drives, okay? And this is where you're going to find your footage and bring stuff in, which we'll get into in the next phase. But if I, look at the word, the words, media browser, and I hold down my left mouse button. And while holding my left mouse button down, I just drag down. Um, without releasing, you can see there's a dark blue shadow. Now, wherever I put this shadow, wherever I let go and the shadow is, is where media browser will drop. So if I want it down here and I let go, it's gonna be below, or it's gonna be to the left over here, or top, you know, above it. Uh, that'll go right back in place there, but if I drop it right there, it should go right above it. I like to keep it to the right, so I can drop it to the right like that, okay? So I just slide it over to the right. Let me do that again for you, okay? I'm gonna do that again. So I'm gonna take this media browser, drag down. I'm gonna drag it over to the right. You see how it's blue? And I'm gonna release, and there you go. Now I wanna expand this out, so I'm just gonna grab this border right there and drag that to the right. 
Okay. And now you see this double arrow. I'm looking for project panel. It's actually right there, but I can click on that double arrow and see what's hidden. I'll go to project panel. So there we go. There's nothing in my project right now, but now in my media browser, <clears throat> I can navigate my hard drive, my network drive, find what I'm looking for. Like maybe I want this image here from Facebook logo. I can just drag it over. And just like that, that's now in my project. Okay. So this makes it real easy to quickly set up your project, organize your footage, organize your, organize all of your assets that you need for your video, bring them from your network right over into your project. Okay. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and click save for now. <clears throat> Actually, we need to save our work, our workspace. We have not done that yet. And that's real easy. We're going to go up here to the top under window. Okay. Window workspaces. And then we're going to go down to save as a new workspace. And I'll give this a name. I'm going to call this one, uh, aren't, I'll call it my last name dash uh, assembly. Okay. So that's what you're going to do as well. You're going to name it your last name dash whatever you want this for assembly, editing, color, whatever it is. And then click OK. And now if I go up here, you can see assembly, editing, color, and all those are still there. But if I click on the double arrow, look at that. There's my workspace. So if I'm in editing mode and I went, oh, I need to go back to my workspace. I can just come up here to the double arrow. There it is. And there you go. There's my workspace for assembly that I just created. This stays with the program uh, with, with Premiere. And if I save this project out and uh, somebody else opens it up, they will also see my workspace. Okay. So that's one way you can share workspaces back and forth. Um, if I make a mistake, if I make a mistake and I close this panel by accident, I can go up to Window, Workspaces, Reset to Saved Layout, and it's back. Okay. If I said, oh, I don't want this here, I want this on the bottom, I click and drag it down. Okay, so now you see it's on the bottom and everything on, everything's on top. I could go to Window, Workspaces, save changes to this workspace and it will save the changes. Okay. Um, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just gonna leave it that way. Okay. So go ahead, create a custom workspace, navigate, find your way around premiere a little bit, create a custom workspace, save it as your name. So I should be able to see, I should be able to see that on your screen when you take your screenshot and then uh, go ahead and save that out and you're good to go. All right. I will see you in class.